So in the last video, we saw the main four uh, actions, antiplatelet, analgesic, antipyretic and anti-inflammatory. These four we have seen, right, for aspirin actions. Now let us look at the other actions, okay. So basically those four were the required actions. That is why we are giving that drug. But because of uh, this drug, some other things can happen and most of them will be adverse effects from now. So you know in GIT, COX-1 was maintaining homeostasis. Now COX-1 you have inhibited. So what will happen? The gastric mucosa will get in irritated. It will produce nausea, vomiting and dyspepsia. What is dyspepsia? Indigestion. So it is going to produce nausea, vomiting and indigestion. And furthermore, this acetyl salicylic acid is acid. So it is going to irritate the gastric mucosa even further. Okay. Now one more thing you need to know here is why there is vomiting because it stimulates the chemoreceptor trigger zone in the brain and it causes vomiting, nausea and vomiting. Fine. So this is one of the actions. Now let us move to the other action, acid base and electrolyte balance. So what is the drug you are giving? It is an acid. In therapeutic doses, it increases respiration. So when it increases respiration, it will lead to respiratory alcohol alkalosis now as it reads to respiratory alkalosis um, you know you can compensate this by the excretion of bicarbonate but if you give in toxic doses if you give aspirin the respiratory center gets depressed and it can lead to acidosis so this is the contra contradiction here in therapeutic doses it will cause alkalosis however in toxic doses it will cause a respiratory depression and lead to respiratory acidosis here you should note everything is respiratory respiratory alkalosis respiratory acidosis and uh, now this cannot be compensated then the toxic doses whatever respiratory acidosis happens you cannot compensate fine moving on to the action on cvs that is the cardiovascular system Prolonged use will uh, increase the sodium and water retention. So what will happen? The blood volume increases. As blood volume increases, the hypertension also increases. So hypertension is what? High blood pressure, correct? So blood pressure increases. So you, it will decrease the effect of any antihypertensive drug if you are giving. And if you are giving aspirin, then gone. They both clash. Aspirin wants to increase your blood pressure. Okay, so now let us move on to the last one here, urate excretion. See, what you have to note here is in therapeutic doses, uh, urate is, uh, you know, not secreted into the renal tubules and the plasma levels of urate increases. But if you give high dose of the same thing, it will inhibit the reabsorption of uric acid. So, uric acid gets excreted. So, this is a crazy kind of thing. At high dose, it was going to treat your gout, right, uricose uric effect. So let us revise here the mechanisms which are other than the intended ones. Here you have the GIT being irritated, right? Nausea, vomiting, dyspepsia. Then you had the acid base electrolyte balance. First you have respiratory alkalosis in therapeutic doses. In toxic doses, you'll have respiratory acidosis. And um, <clears throat> in cardiovascular system, you, it will increase BP at uh, if you have prolonged use because it will increase sodium and water retention. And coming to uh, the uricose uric effect, in high doses only it will uh, enable the excretion of uric acid. 